Hey guys, Jeremy with Jones Tech Review. Today we're going to be covering the Boquette Ball. It comes in a nice little box like this. It's those crystal balls that you see on social media and you see those wild shots taken. How to step up your game with these fun little crystal balls. I'm going to show you in the video, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we're covering that Boquette Ball. This is the case that it comes with. It came from Amazon. I'll leave a link for this in the description below. It's less than twenty dollars. I want to say I paid fifteen for this one. Um, inside the case, it has the crystal ball, right, and it has the acrylic stand for it, and it comes with a cloth uh, drawstring bag, and I really like that. Um, my son liked it so much he kept it in his camera bag and forgot to give it to me for the review. Um, it also comes with a cleaning cloth. These lenses can get fingerprints on them, so you want to keep the lens clean if you're after shooting. Um, I'll be touching this a lot, so I'm not going to really worry about the fingerprints uh, just for this review here. Um, but as you look up closer, you can see that I'm inverted, right? So with these photos, when you're out there and you're getting the right focal point and stuff like that, your image, just keep in mind, is going to be inverted. It, but it's fun. It's that fun, wide-angle, fisheye look, and all you just go and, and flip your image later. Um, if you want it to look like you know your thumbs on bottom, then just hold it like this when you shoot it, and we found that out to be perfect. My son, I'll, I'll show you a picture here. Take a look. Um, so right here, he wanted it to look like his thumb was in that position when he shot the dartboard, and that's how he got that that image here. Um, now looking at some other ones, what's neat about this is you can actually hold it up to chain link fence, like on this picture right here. So, so you see that the rooster was actually, or the chicken was actually upside down. Um, you don't see the chain link fence because of the way the ball is. Uh, the focal point, the camera doesn't focus on that. So it's neat, you can shoot through fences and so forth without it actually showing up on your picture. Um, he, he just went in and re inverted the uh, image to make the chicken look like it was right side up or in the proper shot. So you can do this with a lot of things. Now, now flipping back to this ball right here, um, holding it out like this, holding it out like I have it like, like this, it's it, it's good weight, you know, it weighs about five pounds. Um, now I haven't weighed it, um, but I'm just going based on a guess. Um, what my point is, is my son was shooting a 50 uh, millimeter lens that was fixed and his focal point was at, you know, I think it's two feet or something like that. So holding that ball out, trying to capture that right focal point for that, that particular picture, your arm just like wants to fall fall off right so keep that in mind that's where maybe with this case excuse me this acrylic stand would come into play um but also keep in mind if you have it on the acrylic case out in the sun or even if you're holding it that ball is going to get extremely hot that lens is just magnifying the sun and it's going to pinpoint just like a magnifying glass it's going to burn a hole i had a friend using this up in the snow um full sunlight you know middle of the afternoon 12 o'clock sun's overhead and it was beating straight through and it, and it burned his hand. So um, you just have to be careful. And you know, you, want to do, you don't want to just set this in on the, on the dash of your car, you know, on a photo shoot. You don't want to set this on a window ledge and leave it for a period of time because you're gonna come back and you're gonna either realize you're gonna get some great action shots of the, of the fire department at scene, but you're gonna catch things on fire. You're gonna burn holes in your table and so forth because this is a magnifying glass. You wouldn't just let a mag, you wouldn't set a magnifying glass out there just to, to burn stuff uh, around your house. So keep this covered shoot in the shade um, or just be careful when you do go out in the sun your positioning and where that where that concentrated beam is com coming through at so you don't want to hurt yourself other than that these do some great shots i've seen some of these were with christmas trees i've seen some of these with like large towering buildings where it kind of in, in it flips it inverts it and gives it that nice fish eye um, it's really some fun shots so take a look at my son's instagram i'm going to put a, a description here along the bottom this is how you go to his Instagram this is Jones photos it's felt a little different but it's fun he has some great shots on here and I want to give him a huge shout out uh, for helping me with some of these shots um, I think he did a, a superb job and I want to thank him for that now I'm going to get on his case for leaving the case, the, little, the little bag behind but other than that he did some great shots so I want to thank him so again that, that that link is also in the description below to how to get to his Instagram photos um, and check that out um, and as always we thank you for watching Jones Tech Review.